and they've run SPF America's conference in Chicago and I'm demonstrating um, a Pi system with uh, some IoT sensors that are getting to Pi through the HMS Industrial Network's Flexi that's uh, writing data from this pressure sensor to a Pi system in the cloud and we're visualizing it on the screen. So I'm going to start by uh, pumping up with a bicycle pump this tiny little pressure vessel and there's a little bit of latency as the data gets to the cloud but what we're going to see is the blue line which represents pressure uh, start increasing we'll start to see it now the purple line is the rate of change in pressure so as this vessel is pressurizing the rate of creation of pressure increases but if i stop for a moment that will level off and then continue it'll continue going positive so that's up there over 20 psi now and then we'll see the pressure level off. Um, other information that's on the screen is, like I said, the pressure, the rate of change in pressure, and there's a threshold below which if the pressure, rate of change of the pressure goes below that threshold, it's going to create an event. And information in that event is going to include the um, location. Well, first of all, what the acid is, it's an air tank. Uh, the location, the altitude, that's actually the location of this hotel for the purposes of the demo. Who's the supervisor? If you've got an air emission, you're probably interested in the wind direction and wind speed so that you can clear your people out of the way. Uh, and we're going to calculate the um, emission of the vessel. So we've seen the pressure pretty much stabilize here. It's uh, not airtight, so it's dropping a little bit. But I'm going to vent this now, just like uh, deflating a car tire. I'm going to depressurize it a little bit slowly so we can see the change. And as it catches up with the latency, we're going to see the pressure drop rapidly and the rate of pressure drop below that threshold. So now we've created an event that says there may be some kind of risk of the uh, air emissions event. Um, you can see that here. Pressure drop at 14 minutes. This is the one. Uh, so we can view the details of that event, um, such as the things that triggered it being the, oops, the, the pressure itself, the rate of change of pressure, yes. and the, um, should be the threshold there. The pressure at the start, pressure at end, which are used to calculate that uh, estimated emission, wind direction, and so forth. And also, it sends an email to my inbox, which is that up. Uh, so there's that event. Okay, open up, please. Sorry, long screen. And it contains all that information about the, what the event is, when it started, uh, what asset it's on, start time, end time, pressure to start, estimated emission. Um, and all the other information that we were just showing, talking about, as well as a hyperlink to the display that we just came from. So if somebody receives that email, then they're going to bring up the same display that I was looking at. So that's an example of doing it with an email, but in the case of an A1, we're more likely to send uh, a packet to our, a REST endpoint that they can just ingest into the uh, enable on system. So they can bring that package of data directly into an on and use it for predictive analytics, for automating the data capture and reporting, uh, for incident management, if that's, you know, hopefully it doesn't get to that point, but, um, and, and other purposes. And that's about it, that's our short little demo.